ahead and proceed with installing a deadbolt on an exterior gate. This presents a multitude of different kinds of problems. One is the thickness of the door and the lack of material. Here we already have nails and this is part of the superstructure of the door. So putting a lock here is not practical, which would be here. So I'm going to add a piece of wood here like so, so that I can actually put this part of the tongue in here and then drill the hole and put the lock like so. And we're going to go ahead and start this procedure by fastening this block into place. I'm using a power nailer to get it started and nailing at an angle. So now I've taken the tongue and I've marked my spot using this because this has an adjustment, it can be short or long, I'm using the longer portion of it to get it deeper into the thing. You can see my mark there, I'm simply going to take my drill with my hole cutter. We've gone through, and there's my plug. Okay, now we're going to head and drill the hole in the side of the door to accommodate the tongue of the lock. I've pre-marked my hole. Okay, now we've come across a small difficulty. The thickness of the door is much more thicker than normal. We need to be down to this inch and a half thickness. So we're actually going to recess this lock into the forward part of this door to compensate for the thickness of the door. This tool is called a Dremel and it's got a very aggressive carbide blade at the tip of it, which will go ahead and help me make this hole much larger. Okay, now we'll need to go ahead and install the tongue. It goes like so, but as you can see, it's sticking out too far. So we're going to go ahead and recess it. I'm going to use this tool, which gives me the perfect alignment. As you can see, I've made the cutout for the tongue to be able to recess it into its slot. Now we're ready to put the front portion of the lock into the hole that we've recessed. And now we're ready to complete the lock by putting in the last half, which will be the back half of the lock, like so. As you can see, we ran into a small dilemma, which is a striker plate. Being that it's pressure treated lumber, it's going to have some movement. So I've actually put in a stainless steel light switch plate to compensate. That gives the lock something to rest on. It's solid.